Hi, good evening everybody. Welcome to the Your Fix TV studio. I'm Monique Bradley and in the studio I have a lovely assistant tonight. This Hi. is Miss Leah Ward. Welcome Leah. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Tonight we're really excited because Leah and I have been playing with makeup today. Yay! It is really cool. Now a few weeks ago Leah actually went to the boot camp with my partner Pete and I for Miss Asia Pacific International and you met all of the finalists yep. who are amazing and you also had some makeup training with Minal from Sapphire Artistry and Dwayne Mullo who is watching tonight. Hi <laughs> Dwayne. Hi. Hi. Um, and you learned a lot about makeup. What were the biggest things that you learned? Probably um because you learned about contouring you learned about yeah. blusher you learned about lipstick and eyes but what what did you really learn most probably the translucent powder right translucent yeah. powder and learning how to use that and yeah. baking and things like that <laughs> baking your face yeah so if you don't know about that we've got videos coming out very shortly which have makeup tips from the finalists from miss asia pacific international so you'll get to hear what they learned during their training as well it's pretty exciting yeah. what we thought we'd show you though today is the lip glosses that i've been using on facebook and instagram and you've been trying them too what do you think they are awesome. They actually are. The first thing you need to know about these is I've personally sourced these. They've come from Korea. And Korea is actually one of the leading companies in makeup and beauty products in the world. So I'm pretty excited about these. Number two, you can only get them from me. And to order, all you need to do when you see the colors is send a message through the Facebook page that you're watching. Uh, you can choose the colors you want, let me know the detail, and I'll send you the bank account details and... We make it all happen for you. You get free, what do they get? Free. Free shipping. Free shipping. That's exactly right. That'll come straight from Korea directly to you. So that's pretty exciting too. And the cool thing is that here tonight you're going to see 12 colors on the screen. We've got six colors to show you, which were my favorite six. So there's the details there. One to 12. They, the colors that you see on the screen there, they're pretty accurate, aren't they, Leah? Yeah, they are pretty. They are pretty yeah. accurate. And why I've got Leah on screen with me tonight is to show you the difference because we both have different colored skin. So I'm very olivey, and if Leah holds her arm out, she's very cool toned. So our skin is very, very different. Some of the colors work better for warm toned skin like mine because it's a good contrast and some of them work better on Leah's skin. So tonight we're gonna to take you through which colors work best and also which colors are complementary for both skin types. The other thing we're doing tonight too is because these are lip paints, these colors really set, yeah. right? So you used it and then you ate food. Did it come off? No. <laughs> I drank coffee, I drank tea. I did everything. So what we recommend is this is the Kathy Organics uh, Skin Brightening Cleanser. And we're going to be using this tonight. It's a cream lotion cleanser to take off the makeup in between trials. Because we're each going to try the six colors so you get an idea to see what they look like on the different skin tones. Now, first of all, hello, Maddie Blythe. Hi. Hi. Um, hello, Cam Brown, Ricardo Simich, Karen Hunter watching, um, Maria's watching. Hi, Shivani. Hello, Good to see you. Everyone. Hello, everybody. Um, we've got Raja Cheetan. He's actually watching from India tonight. India. Hi, Raja. That's Good to see you. That's a long you. way. And you know what? Michelle Acampo is watching from Nepal. I don't even know what that is. It's right up the top of India as well. Okay. Um, who else is watching? Oh, Maddie just said hi, lo lovelies. Um, Mario Caballero, good to see you. Tracy Brown's watching tonight. Janine Ringio. Lynn Nolan, good to see you. So many people. Jamie Nabert, hello to you, Jamie. Alistair Aitken, Stephen Sebers, Christine Edlin. Christine, you mentioned that you love the look of these colors. Well, you're going to see the color range tonight. And again, if you guys want to order any, just PM, PM us with what you want. We'll, we'll keep the conversation going and we'll make this easy for you. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk you through the color range. Yeah. We've each got six colors that we're going to try on our arms. And we're going to go from the lightest one, first of all, all the way through. And then we're going to actually trial it on our, on our faces as well. So the first one I've got is color 06. So if we flick back to the color chart as well, Pete's gonna bring that up for you right now. Here's the color chart. So you'll see there in the screen, it's right there in the middle, color 06. It's a very neutral color and it's yeah. very cool toned. Now when yeah. Leah put this on earlier today, she said, no, this color's not really me. And that's because it's, it's quite similar to her natural skin tone. So if I put this on my arm, so this is color 06, 
It looks kind of browny. It's very neutral there. I'm going to put the same color on you if you want to pop your arm over a little closer to me. So very cool toned, not much of a contrast on you. It's quite complimentary on my color tone. So we'll just yeah. lift our arms up a little closer to the camera for you. So it blends in quite naturally with my skin tone. Whereas with Leah, it stands out it, really bad. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't necessarily your favorite color, was it Leah? No. I'm going to write a number six by that so we remember though, because you know, and I'm using a liquid liner to do that. So that's number six right there and I'm going to put that the same way on yours okay so the next color we're going to look at so this is better if you are warm toned number six is good for you let's go to the next color which is a number one number one I think I have that. I think okay. you have a number yes, one as well do. now this was a complimentary color for both of us if you have a look there number one it looks browner on screen it certainly isn't no it's oh not. no sorry I lie it's number ten oh. Money. No wonder I read it backwards. So if I you have, have a look, one. that's true. If you have a look again down that color swatch towards yeah. the end, there's number ten. It's a beautiful rosy pink. So I'm going to put really that like on. It. This was one of your favorites. Why did you like this one, Leah? I don't know. It just had it had a really nice tone of pink to it. Also mixed with a bit of dirt, like a, br a brownie color. But it just really looks nice on my skin. It does. So, so on my one. skin, it's quite, that's number 10, um, on my skin, it's quite a bright pink because my skin's slightly darker, but on Leah's skin, because she's got those paler tones, it's quite a musky pink. So if you might be a classic autumn color tone, so similar to say Nicole Kidman, you've got that sort of coloring, that's a really nice complimentary color on you. In fact, there, if you just turn your arm, see how it blends into, into your skin there really, really nicely. And yet the same color on me, if I turn, can I turn my arm that way? The same color on me is a bit more of a contrast. I would use this color here as my everyday kind of ongoing lip color. I really like it. It's a really good neutral color. Okay, so that's the number 10. Let's go to number 12, Leah. Number 12. Now this is a much browner, deeper color. It is very deep. And if we go to the color chart, we can have a look at what that looks like on the screen. So you can see it's quite a dark brown there. Really good for those of you who really like strong dark colors. So you might maybe wear a lot of white or you might wear really classic colors. What color was that? Number 12. Wow. You might. I actually really liked this color because I gave it a pink sticker. Yeah. Because I thought it just really, really was nice on my skin tone and mm -hmm. it just really suited it. I think so too. I think it's a really lovely, slightly darker than a mushroom color. And you can see how that works on our two different skin tones. I think that suits you better, Leah, yeah, with your autumn color skin than my my coloring. I think it's really a winning color there for you. Hey, by the way, if you've just joined the stream, welcome, hi, good yeah, to see hello. you. I'm Monique and this is Miss Leah, who's hi. joining me in the studio tonight to talk about these amazing lip paints, which I found uh, from Korea actually, and I'm bringing it into New Zealand because I love them. So we're just doing quick demos on which colors suit different skin tones. So Leah's very cool toned, um, you'll see if you can see in her arms, her veins show very blue, which indicates a very cool undertone. My veins show very green, which shows warmer tones. I've got olivey based skin. Um, and these colors, some of them complement both skin tones, and some of them are more suited on each one of us. So when you're looking at the color palette, the first thing I would recommend is have a look and think, um, do my veins on the inside of my arm show up kind of greeny colored or do they show blue? Blue, which do for mine, if mm -hmm. you can see there. Absolutely. There's one right there, shows up quite blue. Now it doesn't mean you can't wear all the colors. No. What it means is that some colors will be complementary to your skin tone and kind of blend in quite naturally, which we can already see here. Whereas other colors might be a huge contrast to your skin tone. So it depends on the kind of look that you want to go for as to which color to choose. They're only $10 if you buy more than one. 
if you buy three as an example, uh, you'll get that for $27. You get free shipping with all this as well. And if you order six of the colors, and the hardest job is really choosing one, you get yeah. six there for $48. Details right there. And to order, you just do it all through Facebook. Send me a message and yeah. we can make it happen. Now, do you know who's watching? No. Our friend, Cousin Carly, over in America is watching tonight. Oh. Hi, Cousin Carly. Hi. Cousin Carly, this is a New Zealand version of the Q of QVC or the Home Shopping Network done from our home. How our cool home. is how cool is that? Real cool. It is real cool. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next colour. So we've done 12, we've done 10 and number six. And we are gonna put them on our faces as well. Yeah. The next colour we're gonna put on is number one. Do, I do you have, have number, number one, one there? Yes, I do. Ah, this is very dramatic too. Mm, this one. I think I gave this one the yellow. Which I, you're not sure about, right? The yellow I didn't really like. The yellow one, basically I had three different colours of stickers. One was pink. I really, really like this one. Yeah. The second one was blue. I like it, but I'm not sure. And then the second one was yellow. No. No, no deal. Thank you. No deal. So, and so what that means is if you are cooler toned, that colour's not going to work for you as well, say, as it might work for me. So it's a very dark brown colour. I actually really like it because it's a very strong colour as well. And Leah, do you want to just pop your arm up here so people can see the contrast? Because it's like quite a um, quite a deep brown, it's not suited for younger people like Leah, let's be honest. Yeah. But as you get older, you might think, I want to go for something really dark and dramatic. Really good on my, I, I like it on my warmer toned skin. I've worn a heap of lipsticks this color. So it's something I am really familiar with. Um, I really enjoy wearing these, these colors. Now you notice these colors don't stand out so much on my skin as they do on Leah's because she is paler and I'm because she's pale. cool toned. So these are showing up as quite contrasting colors. And we like that, we like that. All right, oh, hello, Kathy Ching, who's watching tonight as well. Hi. Jan Turley from OBR Marino, good to see you too. And do you know who else has been watching tonight too? Our friend Karen Teague. Hi. Hi. Hi, Karen. Now, Raja Cheetan has just said, Nepal, remember Mount Everest? Do, have you heard of um, Sir Edmund Hillary who climbed Mount Everest? I've heard of the mountain, but not of it. Sir Edmund Hillary? Yeah, that. <laughs> okay, well, he was one of the most famous New Zealanders, and he climbed Mount Everest, which is in Nepal, which is wow. where Michelle Acampo is watching from tonight. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Mitty Blythe said, I like that brown. Matty, this is a colour you would really, really enjoy. There's another one in here, which is quite a plum colour, which yes. I think we'll do next. I think we'll And I it. think you'll really like that too. There it is. It's number three. Number three. Number three. And it's really, really lovely. In fact, Matty, when I saw this one, I did think of you. I'll put this on your arm too, Leah. Here we go. Oh, oh wow. yeah. Now this colour reminds me of one of um, one of the colours that Lord has worn in one of her music videos. I really love that. That's got a beautiful plum tone underneath. Yeah, actually, I do think it would look good on you, Maddie. I think so too. Yeah. I'll put a three on there so we remember. Here we go. There we go. And a three yeah. on me too. So there yeah, you go. Okay. So you can start to see how these colours work on warm toned and cool toned skin. So some of them make a really nice contrast, which is what we're seeing a lot on Leah tonight. Like Whereas, this one, yeah, yeah, very lovely. That is really lovely. Whereas with me, some of them just blend in a little, like these yeah. first three here. We're starting to see a bit of pop here. So these are the colours I would gravitate towards as well. Definitely the first one definitely blends in with your skin a lot more. Yeah, I think than so too. My skin. Yeah, it's a lot more of a contrast for you. Now Maddie Blythe has just said, "Oh yeah, I knew uh -huh. you'd like that one, Maddie." <laughs> um, Natalie Oborn, good to see you too. Carla Vincent, so hello there it to is. you. It's number three, the third one on the list. Yeah, That's it's a beautiful plum tone. Yes, very lovely. Now it's got lots of lovely cool tones coming through there. I know on that image on the top of the screen, it's it looks a little warmer than it actually is but it really is a lovely true plum color I think you really enjoy it um, if you want to grab that you can just PM me with your details and I can send that out to you free shipping at the moment too we like that all right Leah which that. color are we going for next um I think we might go I'm just trying to look maybe for 11 number 11 one of my favorites now this is a gorgeous slightly nude 
um, beautiful, oh, classic. This is, this is probably my favorite. And this was one of the um, colors that actually suited both Leah and oh, I. Wow. Yeah, that's I lovely. I forgot eh? how nice that looks. Look at that. It is lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Leah, that looks lovely on you. It so that's really number does. 11. It's 11. a gorgeous dusky pink. And I, yeah. I think that's really lovely. I'll just write that on your arm. 11. 11. I really enjoy that. That would be the color I keep in my handbag, that number 11 yeah. right there. And that's the one I would wear every day. Is that one you would, you probably can't wear it at school. <laughs> no, but other than that, yeah, definitely. It is a good color. And you can see my, I'm, I'm warm toned, so you can see the colors there. Leah is cool toned, and those colors still work as well. So you want to either choose maybe colors that complement your cool toned skin, or colors that will stand out on your cool toned skin. Whereas for me, you can see these are very complimentary on, on my skin. So they blend in, they're quite neutral shades. And again, these ones are starting to pop out there. So we've, so far we've looked at six, 10, 12, one, three, and 11. So what else have we got to do? Number four. We have four. got four. And have we done one? We have done number oh, one. we have done one. So okay. we've got number four. There's the details. If you want to grab some, these are matte lip paints that I've actually sourced from Korea. I love them, and this is what I've been wearing on my Instagram pictures and my Facebook pictures. Um, you can grab any one of those 12 shades for $10. You can get three for $27, um, six for $48. Like, seriously. These, for me, are as good, dare I say it, as the, the um, what's her name, Kylie Jenner. Is it Kylie Jenner? Kendall Jenner. The younger one. I don't know. That girl, that girl, that I Jenner girl's I lip paints. <laughs> they are that good. They last all day, don't they? They last forever, pretty much. It's crazy. You put it on, and then you eat food, and you have a drink. And it just stays on. It's amazing. It I is don't amazing. Know how it works. It's just, it's good quality. Yeah. All right, so okay. here's the final one. Matty, you might like this one too. It's more of like a dark rose, really rosy color. It's like, oh, whoopsie. It's almost like a dark blood color. Yeah. This like a pinky ready it is and that one was oh four now this is the one the image of me that's on the graphic the screen graphic that's the color i'm wearing on that image so it gives you an idea of what that actually looks like sure there's a little bit of light in my face as well <laughs> yeah but it does look really cool so you can see those colors thanks for leaning over there leah see a lovely contrast these colors towards the end seem to work on cool tones and warm tones. In fact, all of these colors do work for both of us. You have to decide whether you want colors that are very complementary and blend in with your, with your skin tone, or decide whether you want colors that are gonna contrast with your skin tone and kind of jump out. And that's what you were looking for with the colors yeah. before we went live tonight. You, what did you yeah. say to me? Um, I say the, the number four, I do really like that one. It really like, pops out at you it says hello i'm here yeah it does it certainly does and that's what she was rehearsing before we went live tonight yeah um matty's just said yep she does like that color <laughs> yep and um hello katie english hi to you welcome to tonight's stream now actually jan J jan turley just said yeah that's great on blondes i truly truly agree with you um blondes or if you're strawberry blonde like leah i am strawberry blonde that's true no <laughs> and for me i love it because when i put it on i feel a bit like snow white because snow white has really dark hair and she always has these beautiful red lips did you realize that yeah. you're gonna have to you're gonna have to watch that cartoon now i have you have i just a long time ago so i don't really remember it that much all right <laughs> so we're actually going to try them on our face now by the way if you guys have got any questions you can message us in. Leah's been learning about makeup more recently. Uh, she went to the training for Miss Asia Pacific and she learnt uh, how to contour her face and she learnt about translucent powder and eyeshadow and lipstick. And basically tonight, we're your models. So if you wanna see a particular color on a cool tone face or a warm tone face, you just let us know. In the meantime, we're just gonna go crazy. The first one we're gonna try is actually this number six. Number so six? this was the first one that we tried. Where's number Leah six? Leah wasn't, I think you have to use this one. Leah wasn't a fan so much no. of this. Why weren't you such a fan on your skin tone? I don't really like the browniness of okay. it. 
I so just, not maybe ideal for a younger person who wants something a little pinker? Excuse me? Maybe you want something a little bit more girly, whereas this is kind of edgy. So I'm going to demonstrate this one on my skin. And what I learned is to make this one really pop, and this is what we were discussing before the show, you want to powder, <laughs> you want to kind of powder and um, really create a neutral template with your mouth. And then I'm actually using an eyebrow pencil to define, define my lips. If you didn't understand that, I said define my lips. So then you go around your lips and then you put the, 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 the lip paint over the top. <laughs> Absolutely. So it's going to create a bit of contrast to my skin. Now, by the way, we don't want to sit here in silence. So send messages through because we want to hear from you guys. Because we love hearing from you, don't we, Leah? Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Okay. So I've defined my lips a little more. There's the details on the screen, by the way, if you want to try these. Oh, yawns. That was a big yawn, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's that time of the evening. If you want to try these, just hit us up, send us a message, and we will make we will make it happen for you. You get free shipping too. Okay, quite a brownie colour. It looks really nice on my neck skin. Thank you. I really like it, actually. Very neutral. I like it because I like to wear a lot of eye makeup. She does. Yeah, I do. Trust me. Yeah, that's so true. And I don't necessarily, when I'm doing my makeup, I don't necessarily want my lip color competing with my eyes because my eyes, people remember either my eyes or my voice. Yeah. So I want one dominating. So often when I go for a stronger lip color, which if you see in the picture of me on the big main screen, I've gone for a really strong lip colour and very neutral eyes. We'll flick to that screen in just a minute. Okay, here we go. There's the screen. Now you notice I don't have a lot of eye makeup on, but I've got a really strong lip colour. And that's a really, really nice way to have one key focal point. Because if you think about it, Leah, when you become, if you become a mum one day and you have two <laughs> kids screaming for your attention, you won't know where to look. And I think of makeup the same way. If you've got too much eyes and too much lips, it's like two kids screaming for your attention. Where do you look? So that's a good I point. I never really thought of it that yeah, way. Yeah, well, think about it, right? So that's why if you're going to go for a really strong lip color, you want to maybe neutralize your eyes as much as possible because you want your lips to pop, which is what you were talking pop. about earlier. <laughs> Yeah, so for me now, gone for a very neutral, very neutral lip colour to complement the fact that I've got quite a lot of eye makeup on today. She does. I certainly do. Oh. The other thing I would I would suggest with this lip colour too is to grab maybe if you've got a lip gloss. So while this is matte, if you've got a lip gloss that has a tiny bit of glitter, I then dot a little bit in the centre top and the centre bottom and that together so you end up with these matte lips with a little bit of magic in the middle i think i do have some clear lip gloss mm. that has a little bit of glitter so if you ended up with this lip gloss and it was all you ever had yeah. that would be my recommendation to you to make it work so you'd probably wear more eye makeup this lip gloss and a little bit of sparkle all right so there you go so that's the first one. Oh, have i missed a comment no oh karen valentine hello do they dry out your lips being matte rather than gloss? No, I haven't found that out. It just keeps your lips how they are. Yeah, I haven't really noticed it. It, it does feel quite drying, but yeah. then when you take it off, it, I, I don't really notice it. No, it's actually quite a soothing feel. It is quite, it. I think so too. It's, it's, it's hard to describe, but it just feels kind of nice. <laughs> I'm trying it now. And Lynn Nolan said, I'm real winter tones. Love the look of these. We'll definitely be ordering some. Hey, that's really, really cool. Um, you can look most of the colours that we're showcasing tonight, these were the most popular ones. So they're the ones that I got here to New Zealand straight away. Um, these all of these tones would work really well on you, especially if you are cool to, cooler tone like Leah. I think they're really, really nice. I particularly love the end three here. I, uh, three, eleven and four. Yeah, I do think I like um three, eleven and four, and also I like ten. I just think that one's really nice. Right it is really nice. I think it's a really good everyday colour as well. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so that's the first one. Are you going to try it or do you want to try it too? Or are you going to keep away from that one? I'm going to keep away from that Okay, one. I'm, I'm going to take that one off. We're going to go to the next colour. So that was number six. The so next colour we're going to go for, number ten. Got it so ready. you start on there. I'll take this off. Okay. 
So the one thing you will notice is that it's not easy to kiss off either. I've practiced. <laughs> and it's not, sorry, hope that doesn't make you feel awkward. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. And it's, it's not, but it does come off. That's a great thing. So if you've got a little bit of cleanser, it will come off really easily. And I like it because it doesn't stain my lips. Some of the ones that are darker pigment will leave a little bit of color behind. But again, use a little bit of cleanser and you can take it right off. Okay, there's the details on the screen. We are live here tonight, Miss Leah and I, playing with makeup. Because that's what we love to do on a Saturday night. If you've got a daughter, if you've got a friend, uh, whoever whoever you've got, share the stream. If you, Share it with your mother. These are great lip paints, $10. The currency, thank you for asking, Kathy Ching, is New Zealand dollars. So just 10 New Zealand dollars there and you can have that. Oh, and Lynn Nolan says, I tend to agree with Leah. She likes the same colour picks as you. Good Yay! stuff. <laughs> oh, there's people watching on Periscope tonight. Hi. Hello. Hello to you guys watching on Periscope. Shout out to all the Twitter followers as well. Great to have you on here. Okay, so prepping my lips. So I love these so much that Leah and I actually both have a set of these because we think they're really, really handy to have. Uh, I've got my own. Okay, Thank you then. very much. Thank you for sharing all that. All right, then. Um, they are really good. Honestly, every handbag around the house normally has one of these because, and and a shout out to Jan from OBR Merino because somewhere around the house is my handbag and stored away in a pocket is one of my OBR Merino wraps because they pack up really nice and small too. Okay, so that looks really good. Oh, Leah, that's lovely. I yeah, like I, it. I will say I don't really feel any dryness. It just stays, it stays kind of wet for a minute, like half a minute, and then it goes dry. And it does. It's not. It's not very. It's not very drying for your actual lips. It's not. I used to use a Mac lip paint, which <laughs> I um, I found incredibly drying, and sometimes it would kind of flake off. Whereas this doesn't. I think it's quite lovely. It's quite creamy when you put it on, eh? Yeah. Oh, I really like this too. This is probably a little lighter for my olivey skin, but that's mostly because I'm used to wearing quite strong colors all the time. Yeah. Okay, so Peach has just zoomed the camera in so you can see that on a warm tone and a cool tone face. Are you <laughs> posing? So there you go, you can see the difference in the skin tones. Um, I like it because it's very complimentary. That is really lovely and neutral on your skin. Yeah, it, it, really, it doesn't really like pop, it just kind of shows the lips that are actually there. Yeah. So it's really complimentary to yeah. your natural skin. Okay, we're going to take that one off. The next one we're going to go for is number 12, which is slightly a mushroomy color there. It's on the end of the spectrum. And look, I really, I really like it. I know Leah wasn't such a fan of it, but mm. for you ladies who love something a bit dramatic, I really enjoy it. I'll just take this off. So you guys keep messaging in. Yeah, Matty has just messaged in and said, I love that on you, Leah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you. I really like it too. I think it's really, <laughs> really you. lovely actually. Okay, remember too, when you're taking them off, sure, you can try and wipe it off with a handy towel, but you might actually chafe your lips a little. I speak from experience. And saying that, once you do take it off, you know how some matte lip stains kind of, um, they they do leave your, your lips a little bit scaly? I haven't found that with us. Have you found that with us? No. No, <laughs> no it's really good. I do like it. This is really cool. All right. And look, if you've got a daughter or a stepdaughter like I have, this is something really cool that you and her can do together. Oh, I think it's cool. Get your girlfriends over <laughs> even. Have a, have a girly night trying on all your lip, lip paint and see what you think. Right. Okay, so reset the makeup. So we're ready to go. And the next colour is, is 12. I've got it already. Perfect. I'm organised today. You are organised. I'm so impressed. And the next one is 10. Where's 10? 12. 10. So there's all the different colours oh, there. Miss Leah and I are on tonight's stream. So you can um, see what the colours look like on our different skin tones. Okay, so what number was the one we've just shown you? That was number that was 10. 10. Now we're going to 12. We certainly are. So just to recap on the numbers so you can see the colours on our skin, we've done number 6, number 10, and we are now up to number, number 12. 12. So this is kind of a, a mushroomy brown colour. Yes, really so lovely. I liked this colour because I gave it a 
pink sticker. You did give it a pink sticker. Yeah. Yeah. So you quite liked it? Stick it there. All right, so here we go. This one. This for me is a really neutral one. This is really good. This was quite a contrast on you, wasn't it? Oh, I I like this one. This is good. This is another one that I would wear every day. This is good. I like it a lot. Oh yeah, very neutral. How does that look on you? I've only got it on my bottom lip. Oh, that's so nice. See. If you zoom it in, please. <laughs> She's the director now. <laughs> no, I'm not. So I've got it only on my bottom lip, so you can see that's what my my top lip is. What my lip color is originally. So it is quite a contrast. So that yeah. is is very very. It's a, a very big contrast. I have had the same color as a, a MAC lipstick as well, which is the color I had is called Twig. So that's probably a really fair representation. It was one of the most popular colors in the MAC range. And that was what I wore all the time. Yeah, this for me, this is a this is my go-to every day. If I'm running out the house to grab a coffee and I need to put something on, this would be the lip the lip paint I would go for absolutely I like it not too offensive not too in your face really really good if you are going out and you want to do really big dark eyes and you want to go for a neutral lip I would use something like this and also if your lips are slightly smaller you probably want to go for a more neutral color as well and really focus on your eyes so that's how we look together let's do our posing <laughs> Just so you get an idea of what it looks like. So quite different. There's a massive contrast on you. That's beautiful, Leah. Thank you. I really like that one. All right. So what do you guys think? Hello again, Mariel Caballero. Uh, I hope I said that right. I'm <laughs> terrible. Maddie Blythe would like that. Come to my new place in a month and have a lip party, please. Okay. <laughs> Game on, we will do that. We can do that. Lip party it is. Hello, Mary Haddock Stanley. Good to see you. This is Miss Leah, who I'm not sure that you've met Hi. before. And we are here. We've I found these most amazing lip paints that I've actually brought over from Korea. They are so good. They last for hours. Definitely. They're so good. And they're only $10. Only $10. How good is that? Amazing, actually. So we thought we'd try on the colors because Leah's very cool toned and I'm very warm, olivey toned. We thought we'd show everybody basically what the colors look like on yeah. our different skin. This is what it looks like on our arms. So quite, quite, com quite a contrast on Leah's paler skin and quite complementary on mine. Some of the colors do work better on my skin than Leah's and vice versa, yeah. but Pretty much most of these colors that I've selected are suitable for both types, uh, for both color skins. So yeah, beautiful. Yep. All right, next one, here we go. Painting up the lips, getting ready. I love it. Oh, Mary, long time to see Miss Monique. I, I know, I haven't seen you for ages. I hope you're well, honey. Yes, I'm very well. Having a lot of fun playing with makeup, so what's <laughs> not to love? A few, a few weeks ago, Leah um, started training with the girls from Miss Asia Pacific International. So that's a pageant that I'm the me media director of with Pete. So Leah came to the training and has been learning catwalk. Mm -hmm. And she did um, a training session in makeup artistry as well with me now from Sapphire Makeup Artistry. So shout out to me now, Leah, amazing. And she learned a whole lot about contouring and about lipstick and things like that. And it's really opened a door for her. So we thought we'd play around with some makeup and when I sourced these products from Korea which as we know is makeup capital of the world I thought these are so cool and Leah loved them as much as I do so we thought we'd hop online and talk about them and try them on so you guys can yeah. see okay so that was number 12 so you can see the colors here um, we've done number six 10 and 12 we're moving into this dark brown this is kind of a dark one deep dark chocolate color called number one and I think has another message come through Pete Oh, Pete, can you zoom in? I'd love to see the colors. All right, so Pete's gonna, Pete, I'm not sure if Pete can zoom in any further. Let's lift up. Oh, will we lose the lighting there? A little bit. They're amazing. So these are the colors that kind of complement both of our skin types. There's the full color palette on the screen. That's so you can it. have a look. 
I think I think it looks a bit darker on on that part than what it really looks like on our skin yeah. just slightly just slightly darker but then again too it depends on your skin type as well Mary you're quite olivey like I am so these colors are all gonna pop particularly the final three that we're gonna show you guys tonight it's number three number 11 and number four I think Mary yeah. would work beautifully on your skin as well all right so we are into number one this is a dark brown color absolutely beautiful oh you like them Mary I know right <laughs> so good I, I was quite excited when they arrived and I went oh these are actually really good because you know it's always a risk when you're buying things from overseas and stuff but these really really are good and because they're matte like particularly for you ladies who are getting a little bit older as well if you're getting lipstick bleeds around your mouth which is what happens to me if, if it's really hydrating moisturizing lipstick um, this stays in one place once you paint it, paint it on it's there all day. You can eat, you can drink. It's still there. Yeah, as you well, can that's see, nice. it's quite dark on my skin. Uh huh. It's quite a chocolatey brown. It is quite a chocolatey brown. I really like it though. I know you weren't such a fan of this one, probably because it's a little bit too much for somebody of your age, perhaps. But yeah. I think it's kind of cool. I think it still suits you. I think I gave this one a blue. My stickers have gone off now. Okay, so a blue. What does a blue sticker mean? So a blue sticker means I like it, but it's not really one that I wear all the time and then I got pink which was I love this one yeah and then there was yellow was yeah yeah nah. <laughs> but luckily there was only one yeah nah in the whole yeah. group <laughs> and I think it was um, it was one that I tried that I loved yeah actually I think I think it was um six it was, yeah I think it was six yeah six okay so I have it on. I love this color. I love it because I love something deep and dramatic, much like myself. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really enjoying it. I think it suits all of us with the warmer skin tones. If you do love those darker browns, I mean, I do have a lip pencil here, so I'd, I would really encourage you if you're going with a strong color to really make sure you have a really strong defined line. That's how these darker colors are gonna really, really work. I really enjoy that. You can use this too if you like that ombre lip, lip effect as well. If you grab a couple of these, so for example, 06 is a really col a good color. Yeah. Um, you can actually start with the darker color like this and then you can ombre the lips by adding a lighter color through the middle. And that gives, um, it creates a sense of depth depth perception and you can actually make your lips look bigger if your lips are a little small now it does actually it's really dark on my skin it is really dark on your skin <laughs> what do you think of on mine it actually looks really nice on yours because it's not it's not too light but it's not too dark it fits mm -hmm. perfect with your skin thank you with mine it's a little bit it's too probably dark. too much contrast for yeah. you your style and your age but really good to see on your skin tone Okay, it, keep the. It, it look, it makes me look Mary. <laughs> <laughs> you do look Marty. I do, which I actually really like. I think you look really cool, and we could put a muko on you as well. You look amazing. <laughs> now, Maddie just said, "Yep, yep, Monique, that's your color." Thank you. I think so too. Um, if you have just joined us, oh, hello, 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 Jill Harris and Shivani, welcome back. And Pity Yay! Melanie Lavo from watching from Australia, who just said, "Beautiful." Thank you so much. Welcome to the show. Good to see you. Jodie Clark, welcome to the show as well. Victor Brown, Joe Winter, Joe Tamoringa, watching from Wellington. Kia ora to you. Hi. Hi. So we're trying on all these lip colours. We were supposed to finish at 8 o'clock, Leah, but we've still got oh. a couple more colours to try. Never mind. Never mind. Then. We're with our friends, so it's all okay. We're going to take this off. By the way, these are lip paints that I've sourced from Korea, so I've brought them into New Zealand. I love them. Tonight's uh, live stream is about showcasing the difference in the colors with my warm tone skin and Leah's cool tone cool. skin. So I've chosen colors that pretty much suit us both because they either complement or contrast our skin tones. And that's what we thought we'd show yeah. you guys tonight. Now, if you can't tell the difference if you're a warm tone or cold tone, basically, if you look at your veins in here, if you've got more of a bluer, you're a cool tone. Model. That's right. Yeah, you're a cool tone. Or if you've got a greener, which Monique does, she's mm -hmm. a warm tone. So I'm a cold tone and Monique's a warm tone because she's got a greener look to her veins. Yes, a great description there, yeah. Leah. Nice, <laughs> nice work. All right, taking these lip paints off. The cool thing is they will last, but you can remove the color from your skin and the, and the um, 
the actual pigment there and the um, the lip paint itself by using just and look you could use a moisturizer we're using the Kathy Organics uh, skin brightening cleanser because it's Kathy really gentle Organic. we love them <laughs> it's really really gentle on your skin and I use this cleanser to remove my makeup every day so every day. <laughs> yeah it gives your it does give your skin a really nice cleanse just showing you the colors there again oh and the Kathy Organics perfect there you can see it nice nice work Claire thank you okay so we're back to a neutral face well I'm not yet <laughs> almost <laughs> you almost sped up so I know much. I'm very fast when it comes to makeup creating a neutral palette so we can mm. move on and try the next color right that's looking okay. good right, there's the full done. range of colors by the way if you want to try them all you need to do is send me a PM uh, one color is ten dollars uh, three for 27 six for 48 six colors I mean that's insane I've spent that's cool. I've spent more than more than forty eight dollars on a in a bar <laughs> and I felt terrible the next day but you know six dollars six colors for forty eight dollars and you'll look and feel fabulous because you were saying you know sometimes when you put makeup on you feel a little bit better about yourself don't yeah, you? yeah it like hides some of the things that you don't want other people strangers seeing like, and then like you, my pigmentation yeah and then she won't get embarrassed because mm. everyone can see it where with makeup you can hide it a lot better and then you don't get as embarrassed as mm. you would if you didn't have makeup so yeah when we were talking about that pre-show and I said what does makeup kind of mean to you and she said well like she said you can hide those things you don't want people to see and you can feel more confident within yourself which I mean, don't we do that? Don't we all love to dress up a little bit? I know I do. <laughs> I do it every day. In fact, I notice I'm usually pretty grumpy most of the time. But as what do you mean? Yes. <laughs> but as soon as I put, as soon as I put my makeup on, like I feel, I feel like, I feel like I've got more energy as well. It's quite crazy. Okay, so Leah's got that on. How's that feeling for you, Leah? This is number. Three. Three. Matty, you are going to love this one. I have <laughs> yeah. to say. This is just so cool. There's the full color range there. To order, you don't even need to do it through a website. You just PM the Facebook page that you're watching from tonight. Or if you're on, if you are watching on Periscope tonight, you can actually send us a message through Twitter. Just search for Monique the Star. Mary's, Mary has just said, is Leah Pete's daughter? She looks adorable, just like Pete. Yes, I do. Yes, I am. And you, I am. <laughs> and she's a YouTuber, and you've been on camera for years now, haven't you? Yeah, I think, I think it was from when I was um, eight or nine. Yeah. I've been on camera, so I've been on camera for a long time, and I am now twelve, almost thirteen, in about oh gosh, two weeks. No, um, I had the days. Now I forgot. Is it like 20 days? No, it was, hang on. 18 hang on, days. i to do the math. Wait, it's the same today. Okay. 27 days. She's going to be 13. I am 13. That's so pretty that, exciting. If you don't know what that is, that would be the 24. <laughs> 17 days. Yeah. Shush. Okay. So <laughs> anyway, so Leah even came to work with me when I was working as a presenter on Yes Shop, the TV shopping channel. She came in and did some TV work with me as well. So you're pretty used to going on camera and demonstrating yeah. stuff too, eh? Yeah. So I said to Leah, let's hop online tonight and show people these amazing lip, lip paints because they are super cool. I love this one. Oh, have we got another message come through? Oh, Lynn said, have you got five and nine? I can order them for you. I don't think I have five and nine on me. Now, I have done a completely messy, messy look at this That's time. okay. Just grab a little bit of, um, just grab a little bit of cleanser on here. Quite just wipe messy. that up. Doesn't matter. It's about trying, isn't it? <laughs> so I don't have five and nine here, but I can get them for you, Lynn. Yeah, I actually thought nine looked very pink. Nine's gorgeous. I love yeah. the vibrancy of that color, actually. Really, really cool. Good choice. Um, Mary's just said... Oh, yes, Matty said, at least eight years you've been on camera. And Mary's just said, I remember you did a cooking show together a long time ago. So young. Wow. Well done, you two. Thank you for doing the math for me. Yeah, thank you. And thank you, Mary. It's very, very kind. Yeah, we've done a few cooking shows together. We've done some kids' shows together. We've done a, we've done a heap of stuff. It's just, you know, I think it's really, really important for, for kids to learn to be able to communicate. 
and to be able to do it and chat with you guys and do stuff like this and have fun i think it's it's not it's not just training it's a life skill being able to to talk yeah. to people i actually for some reason feel better in in, a, in front of a camera than in front of a crowd i just i find this really strange at school but when i'm next to someone and i i'm told to talk to them i just sit there where if i'm in front of a camera i go crazy she does <laughs> <laughs> I go crazy. Yeah, you do. It's funny, eh? And I think it's it's about knowing yourself and finding your strengths, and and that's really one of yours is being able to talk comfortably on camera. Yeah. So I'm loaded up. This is number three. Okay, message coming in from Pete. Pete, yes. Maddie, Maddie says. Oh, Maddie said I like number nine as well. Okay, excellent. So I like number nine as well. I'm sorry I don't have it here, but um, on that, if we can go back to that chart. And have a look one more time at that chart number nine that beautiful bright pink there it is a lovely color it's like a um how do I say, bubble gum pink it is bubble gum pink a really good description there leah i really <laughs> love that color i'll make a note of that anyway just pm me tell me if you guys want it and i'll make it happen for you easy 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 okay so hello hs hans lauren harrod good to see you and amanda chandler welcome to tonight's live stream okay we've got Number three on our faces right now. Here we go. Uh, it's a little messy, but it doesn't, doesn't matter. It's the thought that counts. You did very well. <laughs> Here's why I like this one. It looks really dark on our skin. It's it's probably probably just the lighting in here today. Maybe I'm not sure. It it's, looks it's, really dramatic. It's like number ten. It's quite dark on my skin. But it still looks good. It has a really distinct blue-red undertone, which is, is really cool. It's not a yellowy red. It's definitely cool-toned, if that's something you like. It reminds me a lot of when Lord did one of her music videos, and she was it was one of her first music videos, and she basically just sat there and, <sighs> and every so often, are you tired? Every so I often she'd just go, it. yeah, like that. And she had plaits on her head and a knitting top and she had this color on so it is really dramatic you don't need a lot of eye makeup with it because you want your lips to be that focal point it's so like, that's number three oh, I'm here. it is it is everywhere that's the number three so it's a really dark plum so we'll just lift our arms up to the camera so you can see that on our arms oh this, this way, way. <laughs> 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 did the wrong way Fabulous. It is like synchronized <laughs> swimming feet. Maddie has just said, mm, Matty, this is your colour. You will yeah. love it. Yeah. I can already see you wearing it. <laughs> yeah. It is really Definitely. nice. Very dramatic. It's got those beautiful, gorgeous, um, cool undertones. Ah. <laughs> but really, really, really lovely. But it's it's a yeah, it's a dark, yeah. plummy colour. Right. We're nearly there, team, nearly there. There's all the color range. There's 12 colors in the range. You can head to, oh no, actually, I was going to say you can head to my website, but you don't even need to do that. PM no, you don't me. need to. PM me via the Facebook page you're on. One for 10, three for 27, six for 48. Plus, you get free shipping. Free shipping bonus. I know, awesome. right? I think it's a great bonus. Okay. So, again, with these darker pigment ones, you do need to use a cream cleanser. <laughs> It didn't work. Whoopsie. <laughs> I don't mean to. I'm trying to put it everywhere, but the good news is it does come off, I know. <laughs> but then, do you want to... I look very attractive, Leah. Very attractive. It's a little bit better. <laughs> but, you know, at the end of the day, you want it to stay, right? Like, yours is kind of going everywhere. Mine's just kind of, like, staying on the lips. I'm but not come off. <laughs> Whoopsie. So it shows you the pigment does stay on your face. <laughs> Definitely. Let's see. But that's okay because I do know. Is there any more in there? You might need to open the water. I do know that you're not going to be wiping off colours like this all the time. You're probably going to put it on there and it's going to be on there all day. That's what these lip paints are designed to do. Okay. Looking good. And oh, not yeah. supposed to come off straight away. No, they're not. You're exactly right. Yeah. Um, by the way, too, here's something else. I know we're not talking about it tonight, but oh. I also have 
this really cool you're right there yeah. I have this really cool palette too which if you want a camouflage palette like this these are really cool I think they they look really cool it is great I think they retail for about 15 or 20 dollars the cream are you right there are you gonna <laughs> I'm sneeze? gonna sneeze but it's not coming whoopsie um really really good especially if you are into contouring i really like it very creamy so really good for blending you might have to open that up a oh little sure bit i can because i just got the last little blob there okay. we go look at that how's even that more. for teamwork even more there we go i use it i use the product every day so it's one of my favorites okay neutralize the face down a little bit more okay we're nearly there team what do you guys think? Ah, Maddie's just made a really good comment. She said it's grape rather than plum. Yep. Yep, that's a really good description, actually, yeah. Maddie. Thank you. Oh, yeah, um, Karen Valentine just said screenshot because my, my lipstick was everywhere before. <laughs> I know, right? That would make a great <laughs> screenshot. I hope you took one. Yeah. Okay. Right. Back to I neutral. I believe we are on to 11. Number 11. Now. I've got the last two ready. I am organized. You got so organized. Has to go through them all just to find the right one. That's because I'm very busy and important telling everybody the details of how they can order these on via uh, Facebook. Okay. And I've also put the lids of the ones that we haven't used upside down and the ones that we have used, put the lid upside down so I knew the ones that we hadn't used and that we had Genius. Used. Genius. By the way, if you ever need anybody to organise your makeup drawer, <laughs> Leah is available. She is fantastic. I organise Monique's makeup drawers. And All the time. you go to them now and they're just messy yeah. as... Until tomorrow morning when she'll be back in there tidying up my makeup. Definitely. This colour I love. Leah, this is great. Oh yeah, this, this one. is this is probably one of oh they're all my favourites. <laughs> There's all the details there if you've just joined the live stream. We've got matte lip paints. I've sourced them from Korea, brought them into New Zealand. Uh, tonight we're trialling two, four, six, seven of them uh, out of the range. There's twelve in the range there. They are fantastic. I love yeah. them and they last all day. They what do you like about day. them? What do you like about well, them? Well, they're not. They don't dry your lips. They just stay there and give your lips some color and make them it, it just it just looks really nice for okay oh dear let's see i got a little ring of lipstick lip paint stuff on well that. at least you know it can come off with <laughs> cleanser Leah. yeah that's a good thing it is a good thing so it goes on really creamy and you just fill in all the gaps and then it basically sets on your lips I love this one. Done. If I was going to choose one, that would be my, my go-to one. In fact, I think this was the first one I, I bought. This was probably about three months ago when I was trialing them. I This was the first one that I got into New Zealand. I bought three colours and I thought these are so good. And then I bought some more <laughs> for us to try because I really love them that much. So this is a gorgeous, it's a rosy pink. This is a really good everyday neutral kind of lipstick. It will suit cool tone, cool tone and warm tone. It will suit you if you're a little bit older and it will suit you if you're a little bit younger. So this is probably one of the most versatile colors in the range. Here we go, let's have a look. I feel yeah. like I'm going to sneeze again. It's just not coming. I really like that, Leah. Yeah, it suits really well on my skin tone, It does as suit. well as yours. Yeah, I think it works for yeah. both of us. So if you're tired of your daughter perhaps <laughs> pinching your lipstick Excuse all the me. time, or your stepdaughter, I'm or, not even doing that. or your flatmate. You give them to me to I know use. I do. But at least choose something that you both can wear and look fabulous. That's that's all I'm trying to say about that. I really like this one. I rate this one. I think it makes my teeth look whiter as well. <laughs> yeah, actually it does. It does, doesn't it? Man, you can't really tell because they got braces. The braces. But it still works with your braces. That's a win as well. So there you go. That was number 11. That's the second to last. We're going to show you the last color right now, which has to be this one of the standout colors. Yep. This is a number really four. good neutral one that you can wear every day. So we've just shown you number 11, which looks a slightly, slightly more yeah. um, salmon-y looking four. there in the picture. But um, so it's just the lighting on that image when I took that image. This one, this one, however... We're going to show you this is the one you, you saw in that picture of me on the corner of the screen. I wonder how my makeup looks now. Beautiful. It's got you like beautiful. little, little bits over here, but other than that, I'm good. So these lip paints will last you all day. 
basically I put it on in the morning. I still ate lunch. I drank coffee. I had probably four cups of tea, and Actually it was has still amazing. A lot of tea. I do have a lot of tea, but my lipstick always stays on. Did you notice that? Yeah. 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 Oh, it's really, really good. Okay. You're using the right lip paint. That's exactly right. Good sales pitch, Delia. I like it a lot. Well done. You've got a job. But it is the right lip paint, isn't it? It is really, really good. Maddie Blythe, totally lost you now. Great team, a job team over and out. Love. Thanks, Maddie. Nice to see you. See you soon. Bye. -bye. Bye. Hi, Rachel Thompson. Welcome. Oh, she apparently her um her tablet froze, but she can hear us, but oh. she couldn't see us. And Lou, oh, Lou, Sandra Lou. May. Even Bjorn is watching to see your face painting in action. Nice colours, babes. Thank <laughs> you, Sandra May. Bjorn, this would look lovely. These colours would look lovely on you too. <laughs> Do you think they would suit Sandra's husband? Yeah. Why, yes. He's <laughs> good. He's got kind of olive skin like me, I think. Yeah. So I think that would work. There you go. And the cool thing is when you go to kiss your baby as well, you won't leave your baby covered in kiss marks. And when, when, when you go to, to um, kiss your partner. Yeah, your husband, anybody. Absolutely random stranger. having lipstick left on his cheek. Are you talking, talking about, about your dad? you, daddy. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> it's been a long you. show. It's been a long show tonight. Yeah, at least you won't leave kiss marks everywhere. So that's a good yeah. thing. Yeah. Nice point there. I've never thought of that as a sales <laughs> pitch, Leah. Good work. Okay, final colour. This is number four. Love this colour. This is the colour I've worn in that image on the bottom there. And it looks it looks a lot darker in real life. It That's does look just a bit darker. Because of the beauty plus. Yeah, the lighting actually yeah. at the time, because I sat by the window and the lighting was pretty intense there. So this is a really standout colour. I was wearing this. I wore this all day today, actually, and you'll oh, notice. You wore that one? Yeah, this oh. was someone I wore today. Oh, oh okay. It was amazing. Uh, okay. And you don't need to wear a lot of eye makeup when you wear this color because your lips really do become the feature here. So we're going to put this one on and show you. There it goes straight away. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Look at that. Now, if you want to grab any, the details are just here. All you need to do is send me a personal message on whatever platform you're watching on. Um, oh, Karen Valentine, you've just PM'd me to order. Order yours. Brilliant. Thanks, honey. Great stuff. Christine Edlin, welcome back to the stream as well. Good to see you. Look, if you guys have got any questions as well, ask us. If you want to see Pete wearing some of these. Yeah. We're happy to do that. We should do that. We should do that. Maybe um, we take some photos I don't, I don't after the stream. I think he can hear us that well. Okay. Oh, he's going he's to take a few, few, few seconds. <laughs> oh, there he goes. He's just, he's there just he goes. the live stream. Awesome. <laughs> Pete is our producer. He's my partner. And he's Leah's dad. And my dad. Yeah. I love him. Yeah. Love so, you, Daddy. That's beautiful. <laughs> and later on, <laughs> later Whoa, on. Oh, judgy eyes. <laughs> judgy later eyes. On, later on, Leah will probably give him a big kiss and none of this lipstick will come off on him, which he's quite relieved. Yeah. You, 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 you like that? Beautiful. <laughs> no reply. No reply. Okay, so this is the final colour that we're showcasing. It's number four. We're going to show you guys these colours again on our skin so you can see the colour range that we've got here tonight. Rachel Thompson, please show the colour range again. Where is the lippy from, says Sandra May. I've actually brought it into New Zealand from Korea. Korea! So we all know Korea is the beauty capital of the world. I well, actually only just found that out today. Did you find that out yeah. today? But you'll see there on the screen the full range of colours are amazing. There's 12 colours in the colour range. Rachel Thompson, this is one of the colours you could definitely wear along with number 11, which has gone a little brown on my skin tone tonight just because we've got quite, um, it's quite warm in the studio tonight. So these are the colours. So your colouring is probably similar to mine. So you're quite warm toned and olivey. So all of the colours suit. These are the ones that I've chosen for us to showcase tonight. And on Leah's skin, so she's cooler toned. You can see there the colours make a beautiful contrast. So if you look at your veins, and as you can see, Leah's veins are quite blue. That indicates she's cooler toned naturally. So all of these colors are very, they make, a, they make a beautiful contrast to her skin. This is the one that is very complimentary, so it looks yeah. quite natural on her. Whereas with me, my veins show quite green. So that indicates so, I've got yellow undertones, I'm warmer toned. All of these colors are quite contrasting to my skin especially, color. Especially the first 
three. The the first the first one though, it blends in quite a lot. It does blend in quite a lot, so great for a neutral tone. Whereas up here, we're getting into the colours mm. which are good contrast for my skin. Yeah. So all you need to decide is do you want something that you're going to wear every day? Is it going to be your go-to lip colour that you want to keep in your handbag, keep in your pocket, keep it everywhere? Keep <laughs> everywhere. In your desk drawer, wherever you need to keep one, in the glove box of your car. Because you never know when you're gonna need your lip paint. You can have one everywhere that you need it. Um, or if you want to go for something uh, co contrasting, which you might want your lip color to pop out, maybe when you're going out for a special event or occasion, <laughs> or you're just like me and you like like a bit of drama. Yeah. The only <laughs> drama I like is with my eyelashes and my lips. Then you might want to choose a contrasting color like this. I really like this. Yeah. I do as well. That really pops on you, Leah. Yeah, thank you. I really like that too. Now, yeah. these are matte lip paints as well. So they do dry matte. They feel creamy when you put them on. You paint them just like you would any other paint. You put it on there and then it's dry to touch. Wait. I even like wipe it. I like nothing. Nothing comes, comes off. off. We should have done that earlier. I'm just even thinking I've got a white um, uh, cleansing pad here. <gasps> nothing. We should have done that earlier, Leah. That's amazing. Nothing. That shows you how much it stays on your skin. How about a wipe? A wipe? Nothing. Oh, a nothing. tiny little bit, but like nothing little, really. little crumples, but basically nothing. <laughs> what I like too is that when you do take it off, um, particularly with the darker pigments, you will want to use maybe a moisturizer or a cream-based cream cleanser to remove it. Uh, your lips feel great. Yeah. So it's different from most lip paints which really dry and leave your skin a little bit flaky mm, or it doesn't feel that does nice, it but... feels really nice like so the, there you go the, the, what you were talking about before not the stuff yeah that's right other, other stuff. that's true <laughs> pete ward has just said to me he's got something so, uh who are you wanting to see oh there you go rachel there's the full range of colors there um, it's hard to see. Tell me a neutral lip color that's a little bit stronger than natural lip color. Number 11. It looks a little dark <coughs> there, but number 11 is actually Sorry. a really good neutral lip color. And we're going to show you the arm colors again so you can see the stripes. Do you know who's watching tonight? We have an amazing lady watching. She, her name's Alison Brewer, and she's a beautiful makeup artist. Alison, you'll love these lip paints, by the way. <laughs> and also watching from Blenheim is my beautiful Auntie Sandra. Kia ora to you, Auntie. Good to see you on the stream. Okay, so if you want to go for something neutral, something a little bit lighter. Well, like these ones down These here. ones down the end? 6, 10, 12, and... Basically, those ones are more neutral. Yeah. Where and the then ones at the top. these ones are the ones that you want if you want something a bit more dramatic. Now, Rachel, one time when you were filming here, I actually put number 11 on you and it looked great. So if you <laughs> you didn't even know, this is when I was trialing the um, lip paints. So if you want something, I would suggest you go for that number 11 or you might want to go for number 10. Number 10 might be a bit pale on your skin tone. So I would actually recommend number 11, which is a gorgeous rosy color right here one of my absolute favorites i think you'll really like it uh, this is the this is the go-to color that i always have in my handbag it was the first one i bought this is my baby my precious <laughs> i love it i love it lynn nolan thanks ladies we'll message you with an order thanks honey um rachel thompson i'll have an 11 thanks oh, rachel yeah. brilliant awesome good <laughs> game on um and can you tell me which number is a little bit... Oh, yes, I've done that question. There's Brilliant. Right there. Best thing to do, mm -hmm. everybody, is send me a message with what you want and your details because I'll have those shipped directly to you. So whatever you want, take a look at that color swatch one more time of all the colors in the range. The one that I'm wearing in the image there is number four. So in the lighting there, I had a lot of sunlight on my face, so it looks like quite a, a ruby red there. Yeah. Um, really lovely like, color. It looks quite like... Eight, but more pinky than mm, eight. It is a little bit yeah. pinky. So that was the color I was wearing in that photo. Again, think about whether you want a color to contrast or complement your skin tone. So the skin tone you see on the swatch at the back is pretty much my skin tone. So it's a warmer skin tone. So have a think about what you want to go for. If you want any, if you've got any questions, so send me, even if we haven't met before, send me a picture of your face. And I can actually tell you which colors are probably going to suit you the best yeah, to make it easy. She's, she's good at that. Yay. <laughs> All right, well, it's time to go because Leah and I need to have dinner. 
And do you know what? We've been streaming for over an hour tonight. Yeah. I know. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? All right, time to go. Oh, you knew, Pete? <laughs> All right, time for us to go. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching. We have to head away and have some dinner. Thank you, Leah, for helping. Thanks, Pete, you for producing. Okay. You are amazing. And thank you guys for watching. Send us, send us a message Bye -bye. with what you want, and we'll make it happen. No, don't, 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 don't. Yeah, thank you. Enjoy it. Bye. Bye. <laughs>